Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be going over some lessons that I learned recently that really were impactful to my life, mainly because I've been going through this issue for so long. And I know a lot of you out there are probably going through the same thing, and that's being a doormat. And what that really means is like when people ask you to do things, you always do them or people are just constantly taking advantage of your niceness and walking all over you. Hence, hence the term doormat, because you know, you walk all over a doormat and people are walking all over you or basically just taking advantage of what you're willing to give. And for a lot of us, this can be really disheartening and really maddening. And you just want to get out of it. You want to try to figure out a way to get out of it and just gain more respect throughout life. And this lesson I learned recently really helped me and I hope it can help you guys as well. But basically, the key to not being a doormat is relinquishing control. And I know a lot of us out there that we're going through these issues, we're thinking, I'm so tired of other people being in control of my life, right? We just want to try to figure out how to take back control and not allow other people to be in control of our lives. And it seems kind of paradoxical to think that you need to relinquish control. But what I mean by that is a lot of people that are doormats, they're trying to be in control of how someone views them. They want someone to like them so bad and be in control of their reaction to them that they're willing to do whatever they ask. And once you relinquish that control of how other people view you, you feel so much more free. You actually get so much more respect over time as well. People will start to learn that they can't just tell you what to do and they can't just ask you to do anything because you're not just going to do anything that they ask. They either need to offer some value themselves or ask in a nice way or things like that. Now, there's nothing wrong with doing nice things. I actually encourage doing nice things. I think it's a good thing to do nice things for people, but be very careful right after you do something nice. That's when the people that are kind of like leeches and they try to take advantage of nice people, that's when they'll start to come out of the woodworks. They'll see, okay, he did something nice. Let me see if I can get him to do it again and, and again and again. And they won't even be thankful, honestly. It's subconscious for them. They see, oh, he did something nice. Let's see if we can get him to do that again. Like, for me, I designed some things on Photoshop for some people just out of the kindness, out of, out of, the kindness of my heart. And they constantly came back to me and asked me to do other things. One of them never even said please or thank you the first time I did it. He just said cool. Like when I sent him the, the finished product, and he kept asking me over the past couple years to do different projects and stuff. But at first I allowed it, but recently I, I don't even pay it any attention. So be very careful when you do nice things for people that the people that are trying to take advantage of you will come out of the woodworks after that. So when they come in for the second time and try to ask you to do it again, just shut it down right there. And part of being able to shut it down is relinquishing control. In the beginning, I wanted these people to like me so bad that I would just do whatever they ask, right? And up, up front, that actually does allow them to like you more in the short term. But over the long term, they start to see you subconsciously as someone that just does whatever they tell them to do. And anyone that will take anything from anyone is just like a feather in the wind and over time they don't get respect from people and when you re relinquish control and simply just are real about who you are and how you feel you get so much more respect especially in large groups of people i've noticed the people that are the most respected simply just don't care about what other people think they don't care at all and if someone maybe asks them to do something that they don't want to do, they'll just say straight up, no, I don't want to do that, ask someone else. Or no, I don't have time for that right now, ask someone else. And it may not be nice up front, but these type of people are the ones that gain the most respect from the group because they're the most real about how they feel. 
And also, they don't allow other people to just mess with their time, right? And these are the people that end up becoming leaders within certain groups. And you can have much more of an impact within the groups that you're in if you become this kind of person. And being a doormat, I think, stems a lot from childhood for people, especially if you had strict parents like me. I think when you're used to messing up in front of strict parents, you start to learn that they don't like it. And I'm not saying my parents did a bad job or anything, but with strict parents, you start to learn that if you just tell them what they want to hear and you do what they say up front, then they'll get off your back, right? And that's how I learned from a childhood to be a kind of a doormat, right? I would just do whatever they said just so they would get off my back. And unfortunately, when you're a child, you're kind of under your parents' control. They kind of own you in a way. So there's no way to get away from them, really, unless you like run away or something, which isn't really an option. So you start to learn over time that just doing what they say is the path of least resistance, you know? They won't be on you if you simply just do whatever they want, and that's the best way to go, go about it as a kid, because you just want to be a kid and you don't want to have to deal with getting yelled at or being told what to do or anything, so just doing what they say as fast as possible to make them happy is the best way to deal, deal with it. But the problem is when we become adults and we take that into adulthood and other areas of life, then it can so quickly move you to the bottom of the pack and it can so quickly allow you to become a doormat within the groups that you're in because you have this habit of just doing things for people because you want to be in control of their reaction. You want them to simply just like you and be okay with you and not dislike you or yell at you or however any reaction would be you want to just make sure that they have a good reaction with you so you'll do whatever they say up front and like i said in the short term this really works this really allows people to like you up front because they're like oh i just asked that guy to do something and he did it right away what a nice guy but over time, subconsciously, you'll, you'll start to lose respect. But yeah, not only does relinquishing control of how other people view you help you with not being a doormat, but it can also help you in other areas of your life, you know? You can really start to shine as your true self in other areas. And this inhibition that you've been living with, like when you speak or when you act out in public, will start to fade away and the true charisma from being yourself will start to come out, right? You can see this, especially if you've tried to do public speaking or maybe you try to make YouTube videos or something. If you're constantly thinking about how the other people are viewing you while you're talking, you can start to stutter, you can talk in a shy way, maybe you're not putting as much emphasis on words that there should be, and maybe you sound monotone or something like that. And I've struggled with this a lot in my life. You can even look at some of my videos and see me struggling with this. It's a constant thing that I'm practicing and getting better at, but it all stems from just really trying to be in control of how other people view you, even when you can't at all, you know? and actually relinquishing control will allow them to view you in a much better way. Like I said, the charisma that you have within you will start to come out and people will enjoy your realness much more. They wanna see someone that's real, you know? They don't, they don't wanna see someone that is flooded with inhibition and really holding back who they truly are because they're so consciously thinking about what other people are thinking about them you know so this will really allow you to be a better public speaker maybe speaking within any groups maybe at your co-workers at work or anything like that it can allow you to become more confident because you simply just don't care about what other people are thinking about you and stuff like that it really is such a freeing feeling when you've been dealing with this issue your whole life maybe you're a doormat or you just want to be in control of how other people view you and you finally just relinquish that control and you just let it go, 
and you don't care about what other people think and you just be your authentic self as much as possible it's such a freeing feeling you know imagine someone that's been taking advantage of your niceness for so long and every time they ask you to do something you just say yeah okay i'll go do it right now and then you're beating yourself up after like dang i wish i didn't do this i wish i wasn't allowing them to just take advantage of me and finally you you start to follow this advice of relinquishing control and the next time they ask you to do something you say no nah, i don't feel like doing i really don't feel like doing that right now they might not like it at first but over time they're gonna start to see this person is not someone that i can just mess with their time like their their time is valuable they value their time and i should value it too and especially if i want to actually get him to do something like i'm gonna have to either come correct or bring some type of value or something you know this isn't someone that is to be disrespected or messed with and that's something that just happens subconsciously with the people that are around you they'll start to view you in that way and people that are doormats that that's what they want to be viewed as most and it all comes from just relinquishing control of how they view you it seems so much less nice up front and it's going to feel very uncomfortable but this realness and you being truly yourself and just authentic and not caring about any consequences that comes with that that's going to allow you to get so much more respect in the long run and people will start to follow you as a as a leader you know now chances are this habit won't just come into your life overnight it's going to take consistent practice over the long period of time like for me i'm constantly practicing this especially when i'm talking to you guys in the camera I'm talking within groups of people, maybe I'm at a restaurant where there's a bunch of people around me or around my table and just saying what I want to speak in that conversation and not thinking about the other people around me, right? So many examples of places that you're going to have to practice this and it's not just going to come very quickly for most people, especially if you're really deeply entrenched in this feeling of thinking about what other people are thinking about you while you're speaking, you know, this inhibition. It's, it really is uh, such a big weight for so many people. And it was a big weight for me, it still is. And I'm just working, working at this along with you guys. But yeah, just keep working on it every day. Keep allowing yourself to just speak more freely. And one piece of advice that I heard from someone was that when you're speaking, just imagine you're speaking to your parents or your family. Like, think about when you talk to your parents, how calm you are, because you just have known them your whole life. They know you. You don't care about how they're viewing you or anything like that. You're just talking how you want to talk. That's the way you want to be speaking to other people. Not necessarily using vulgarity that you would use within a household or anything like that, but this feeling of just not caring about how other people view you and just being yourself, that's what you want to carry along with you throughout life. I heard a quote from Neil Gaiman recently that is kind of pertaining to this topic and it goes, the moment that you feel that just possibly you're walking down the street naked, exposing too much of your heart and your mind and what exists on the inside, showing too much of yourself, that's the moment you may be starting to get it right. And it's such a powerful quote because when you're growing up like this and you've always gone throughout your life with this shyness and inhibition and holding back and you just want to be in control of what other people think about you, you can really feel naked and like you're exposing too much when you're out there just being yourself. But when you start to feel that feeling, like he said, which I agree with, once you start to feel that feeling, that's how you know you're doing something right. You're really truly being your authentic self so just get used to that and over time that shyness and inhibition will start to go away i've even heard from some people that deal with stuttering that that type of habit will start to subside because you're no longer talking while thinking about something else so you're like doing two things at once and it trips you up a little bit and then getting tripped up allows you to think oh i'm messing up and then you mess up even more you simply just don't care you're just talking normally, how you would in your head or something, you know. 
so that that will start to subside and I know a lot of people that are doormats are also introverts and they don't like dealing with public spaces and public groups and stuff like that because they're just too conscious about how other people are look looking at them or viewing them and for the most part most other people are thinking about themselves too in that in that way you know they're not really looking at you and thinking about you in a negative way for the most part you're kind of just another human to them and even if they are they'll probably forget about you within an hour or so or anything like that i mean the chances of a bunch of people seeing you in public and not liking you is very small even if you stand out so much you know but yeah start to get in this habit of just relinquishing control of how other people view you and you have to be willing to come across people that just don't like you and you have to be okay with it and chances are even if you were trying to be nice to these people they probably still wouldn't like you anyways and the problem with being a doormat and trying to be in control and just allowing people to do whatever they want so that they view you in a good way the people that would have had respect for you otherwise if you were just real they start to lose respect for you too so the people that could have been a great support throughout your life are now looking at they're looking down on you you know and they're seeing you as a doormat subconsciously so as much as you want to be in control of how other people view you you're not going to be able to and relinquishing that will actually allow you to have more people around you that respect you and it's really all about just letting go don't care about what they think let them think whatever they want you're gonna say whatever you want if they don't like you because of it go away i don't care or stay whatever you want to do i'm gonna be who i am and if you want to stay around me you're either gonna have to put up with it you're gonna have to learn to like it i don't know that's a you problem right that's not my problem i'm gonna do whatever i want to do right now i'm gonna be nice to you if i feel like being nice to you and if i feel like you're taking advantage of me i'm gonna let you know hey stop taking advantage of me I was nice once, but I'm not going to do it again because I don't like that. And that realness, that's how you get respect. That's the crucial part. Don't care about what they think. Relinquish that control and just be yourself. You know, whatever thought comes through your mind, just say it. Obviously, if it's, you know, something really bad, don't just come out and say it. But you know what I mean? But the more and more that you do this and you really start to relinquish control of how other people view you and you just are yourself 100%, you'll start to see that you really just aren't a doormat anymore. You simply just don't allow other people to take advantage of you and that whole problem in your life will start to go away. And the amount of respect that you get throughout life is going to increase so much. And that's really, that's really the main key to not being a doormat. And I really hope this video helped any of you out there that are dealing with this because like I said for me I dealt with this for so long even the inhibition when I speak and the shyness I still deal with on a daily basis and I'm getting better at not dealing with it but as far as being a doormat that has pretty much completely subsided because I just don't do things for people that I don't want to do and I love doing nice things but it ends there you know I'm not gonna allow a nice thing to just ruin my life and allow people to take advantage of that from now on you know so for any of you out there that are dealing with this i hope this advice of relinquishing control really helps you and if it does let me know in the comments below or if you have any other advice that you'd like to share with people we're all on this journey together and yeah i try to remember that as well when i'm making these videos that i'm here learning these things along with you guys you know so that helps a lot keep me humble and allow me to be real and simply just being real means not caring about what other people think you know and i don't i don't think i'm afraid to let you guys know that i'm on this journey with you guys of self self-development and we can all learn from each other so yeah let other people know in the comments if you have any advice or you want to add anything to this please let us know in the comments but yeah that's pretty much going to be it for this one relinquish control guys don't allow other people's views of you to really affect what you're doing relinquishing control of how other people view you will allow this whole idea of you being a doormat to just go away and you'll start to feel so much more free 
so much more free. And that's how to not be a doormat. And if you like this video, please hit a like or subscribe if you want to. I'm going to be coming out with more content just like this in the future. And thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Peace.